On today's show, we're going to be learning all about electricity with our favourite scientist, Greg Fook, using one of these. These and one of these. Look at your hair. It's amazing. Mads, you can let go now, mate. I'm not touching it. That's your hair in real life? actually got a bit of a magic trick. Oh, great, go on. Yeah, now it doesn't involve uh, a Harry Potter spell, uh. but it does involve turning a potato into a battery. And I don't just mean one potato, what? I mean 600 potatoes. No. <laughs> no. Greg. Hello. Greg Foot is here, our science expert. You're just standing by a load of potatoes. Yeah, we're going to get on to these. Um, I want to talk to you about the science of electricity. OK. Now, you might not know this. There are actually two different forms of electricity, static and current. I want to look at static first. Um, would you mind mucking your hair up? Oh, no, never. Here's a balloon. Give it a good rub on the side of your head. Just go for it. Yeah, just go for it. So what's okay. happening is you're actually rubbing off tiny <laughs> particles called electrons from your hair, and they're negatively charged, and they're getting attracted to the balloon, so you're charging up the balloon with static <laughs> electricity. But if you pull it away <laughs> now ever so slowly... Go in my mouth. Go on, pull okay. it away, go away. Ah, yeah, your is hair gets stuck to it. Yeah, because what you've done is you've nicked the electrons from your hair, so you've left them positive... I like that. ..and the Stealing balloon electrons. Is, ..is negative, and opposite charges attract, so they get attracted to each other. This is great. Oh, However, we can, we, can, we can do it a lot bigger than this. Get rid of that balloon. Steve. This is called a Van de Graaff generator. It's essentially a much bigger version of the balloon and the hair. You're so, not going to make me rub my head. No. Right? Okay. <laughs> can you stand up on here and just put your left hand on top of this for me? Are you sure? Yeah, go on, go okay. for it. And then we're going to turn it off. All right, so what's happening now is there's a rubber band inside rubbing against a brush. And that's just like that. rubbing your balloon against your hair. And it's Look, picking up electrons. Yeah, yeah. Up. It's picking up that charge. It's going onto the dome and then it's going onto you. Look at so that. you are now getting charged up just like the balloon. And what's happening is all those electrons, all that negative charge is all over you. It's all repelling each other and your hair looks amazing. Look Bradzi, can you come and help us with something? I'm can all in. Yes, hair. right. Can you point your finger at Lindsay? And Lindsay, you point your finger at Radzi. Okay, just okay, don't that's it. touch them. No, and then slowly move towards. If we have the lights down a little bit, okay, slowly move your fingers towards each other. Ah! Whoa! Did you see that? Oh, yes! Did you see that? That was wicked. Um, Lindsay, take your hand off. Ooh. You are safe. Right, safe. what you got is you got a spark. Because yeah, what has happened, we charged Lindsay up, but she was stood on top of that box, so she couldn't go anywhere. Right, that charge couldn't go anywhere. It would actually jump between your fingers to you and down to the ground. So the electricity jumped between yeah. bodies. It's weird because you weren't actually touching your fingers. No. But it broke down the air around it and actually managed to jump through the air. And there's somewhere else you see this. It looks lightning. like lightning. Lightning. So what's happening now is very similar to lightning. I'm charging up the storm clouds at the top <laughs> of this dome. And if I move close to it... Oh, there you Whoa. go. I'm basically raising oh, wow. little what? lightning. So what's happening is that static electricity is jumping to the ground, to me, and then down to the ground, spreading out, and that is exactly what lightning is. Are you saying there has been lightning in the Blue Peter studio? That's pretty epic, isn't it? That's awesome. Um, it's also probably a good time to say, don't play with electricity, don't mess around with it. Greg is an electricity pro. Is that your well, official title? Yeah, it is now. So yeah. don't mess around at home with this. Safety never takes a day off here on it Blue Peter. I knew you Thanks, Radzi. You go, go you know, go chill out. That just leaves. OK, what's next, Greg? So that was static <laughs> electricity. Um, the other type is called current electricity. Okay. You know this when you're at home, all right? You press a light switch and the light comes on. When the light switch is in the off position, the circuit is broken and the current can't flow around the circuit. It's like putting water through a pipe but it not okay. being able to make it all the way around. But as soon as you then press the button, it, circuit's complete, light comes on. However, that comes from, like, mains electricity. You can also get current electricity from... A battery. A trusty battery. Okay. These things are so neat. They store uh, chemicals so that a chemical reaction occurs and it produces electrical energy. And I thought the best way to have a look at this is to make our own. I'm still lost because what's that got to do with potatoes? Well, that's what You're the thing is. No sense I yet, want to right. use a potato <laughs> to make a battery. A potato battery. Yep. All you need is a penny oh, and a nail. You so you take them. Oh and gosh! You can stick oh, did you feel that? Was that a little? Oh, just stick okay. them into the potato for me. So inside your battery, you also have two different types of metals like this. And so the key, now this is kind of a battery. Yeah, kind of. The key <laughs> is that one is more reactive than the other. So it wants to nick electrons from the other one, just like when we rubbed the balloon on your hair and it was stealing those electrons. The magic, or I guess the science actually, happens inside the potato. Inside there's acid, and that helps the flow of those electrons between the two terminals. Just like inside your battery, there's something called an electrolyte, same thing happens. But also just like inside other veg. Yeah. Could, could you have like a courgette battery? <laughs> Possibly. Does that work? Lemons work really well. Oh, do they? Or I onions. love that you've tried out lemon yeah, yeah. battery. Yeah, yeah, totally. And it works in exactly the same way. The thing is, if I was trying to connect this to like a light bulb, mm -hmm. not much would happen. There's just not much power in this. Okay. So I thought, 
Let's connect lots and lots and lots there of them together. Go. I knew there was a reason. Maybe we're going to get enough oomph. So what I've okay. done, uh, with the help of the team, this took days, hours and Thank hours and hours. Thank you to everyone who's helped. Thanks. Thank the you whole so team much. here have been amazing. Plus a couple of guys from the Manchester Metropolitan University. Uh, the professors there have been brilliant. So what we've done is we've connected all these potatoes together. We've gone penny okay. to nail, penny to nail, penny to nail, using crocodile clips. All these potatoes are wired into this sign. Right. I have never done this before with this many potatoes. I've got no idea if and this is going to work. And can I say, we briefly tried this in rehearsal, but we've never seen this work no. with all of these spuds working together. So, no, we only tried um, a few. I'm, nerv I'm nervous for you, Greg, because so I know nervous. you really want this to work. Please. Should we count down in the studio from three? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Greg. Three, three two, one. Yeah! I'm completely speechless. Oh, we had great. no idea if that would work. I've been so I. nervous all day. I thought you'd lost it, but it, apparently oh. not. You're a genius. Oh. Thank you so potato much for coming power works. Today. Guess it's potatoes for tea. Hang on, hang on. We have to cook something up for us. Before we start talking about genius, you know, I mentioned earlier that my battery wasn't working in my phone. So yeah. It was flat. Yeah. And you said I'm going to need a strong current. i got loads of currents in here, and look. Uh. Now. Uh. Should we just walk away? Just walk away. <laughs> not doing anything. I'm 